Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this power supply from Cooler Master. This is the Silent Pro M2 720 watt version. Let's start off with a close look at the retail box and uh, as well as a little bit of history. If you're familiar with Cooler Master's line of power supplies, the Silent Pro M has been one of their more popular ones. It's designed to fit a niche in the market, that being a not super expensive but still solidly built power supply with efficiency as well as the power to cover uh, a majority of sort of the uh, types of builds that you'd see, especially if you're going for a gaming computer or a uh, system build of that nature. So uh, for starters, efficiency, we have 80 plus bronze rating for efficiency. Cooler Master is throwing in a five-year warranty. This is the 720 watt version of this power supply. Uh, as of now, it's also available as a 420 watt, 520, 620, 720 here, also 850, 1000, and 1500 watt varieties. Uh, it's also a partially modular power supply, so you get that cabling advantage of the modular cables. They've also included a 135 millimeter HDB or hydrodynamic bearing fan. Let's take a look at the side here for some additional specifications. So there you have your model number, specifically being RS720 SPM2. Uh, it's an Intel standard form factor ATX power supply, so it should fit in the vast majority of computer cases or desktop computer cases that are out there. Uh, features active power factor correction, again that 135 millimeter fan, 100,000 plus hours mean time between failure, uh, all the protections such as over voltage, under voltage, over current, over, over power, over temperature, short circuit protection, that's what all those stand for. Uh, dimensions being 150 by 180 by 86 millimeters. Uh, also all these sa safety certifications right there. I apologize, I don't know the names of all of those acronyms like I do with the protections, but I'll just go ahead and move on. Efficiency is 85% typical. Uh, the 80 plus bronze efficiency rating gives you about 82% uh, efficiency, depending on the load on the power supply, of course. And finally, connectors all listed there. I'm gonna show you those once we get it out of the box. Here's your power chart. I'll also be taking a closer look at that once I get it out of the box because it's also listed on the product itself. Here's a look at the back of the box. More of the same indicators right there. Oh, this is also built around a single plus 12 volt power rail. So your main power delivered by that single rail. Uh, here's a chart for the power curve. So as you can see, it's gonna maintain uh, RPM, uh, about 750 RPMs up until you get to about 75% plus load. Uh, and then uh, down here, we also have the fan efficiency curve at the different voltages. It's a switching power supply, so it should get you sorted whether you're uh, purchasing this in the U.S. or abroad, although the version we have here is designed for the U.S. Enough about the box. Let's take a look inside. So first off, we have ooh, closed cell phone packaging. We also have a CoolerMaster.com limited warranty card. And in case you were wondering, wait, I already said this. Five-year warranty provided by Cooler Master. It says it on the box. Uh, okay, we also have a model description here. So here's is sort of your basic user's manual from Cooler Master. They do give you a little diagram uh, of the power supply as well as some additional information there. Multiple languages. So again, uh, English is not your first language. Hopefully you speak one of those other ones. Uh, let's move on as far as accessories goes, actually. Well, here's the power supply itself. We're gonna finish off on that. More foam packaging. All right, here's some of the included modular cables. You will notice they are flat, which uh, does provide some help with cable management, particularly if you don't have much space, say for example, behind your motherboard tray. Flat cables are much easier to route back there rather than the rounded ones. All right, so the cables I'm going to unpack in just a moment so we can take a look at those individually, but you do of course also have an AC adapter cable here, so AC plug for your wall. Other end goes into the power supply, pretty standard. And of course, four screws to mount the power supply to your case. Okay guys, gonna take a look at the modular cabling here. There are three different types of cables. I've got a tape measure here so you guys can get a better idea of how long each one is. We'll start off with this one. There's two of these and these are your PCI Express connector cables. So uh, one connector there, uh, the gray end, which goes into the power supply. And then this extends to uh, two six plus two pin PCI Express power connectors, so those will work for either 6-pin or 8-pin PCI Express connections. Let me just line it up here. So as you can see, cable length is just over 2 feet. I'll give it about 26 inches uh, from the connector here to the first PCI Express connector. And then uh, it gives you just a short loop after that because chances are if you're plugging in two of those, it's going to be into the same graphics card. Again, two of those cables, so that gives you a total of four PCI Express uh, video card power connectors. Next up we have your serial ATA. Three of these cables are included. That is the end that plugs into the power supply and then three serial ATA connectors on each of these cables. So that gives you a total of six serial ATA connectors. 
to plug in your peripherals. These are a bit longer, so um, measured from the block here to the first serial ATA connector, we're just shy of 30 inches, so I'll say about 29 inches to that. And then uh, between each serial ATA connector, you have about another three and a half to three and three quarters of an inch. There's your serial ATA. Finally, you have some Molex connectors here, so uh, we got the block there for the power supply. So, uh, splits out into three Molex connectors. Two of these cables included, so a total of six Molex connections available. Of course, serial ATA and Molex via adapters can easily switch over or split off to give you more or fewer plugs, well, more plugs or change the plug type from Molex to, to SATA. Quick measurement here, uh, so from the block to the first plug is uh, just a little bit over 19 inches. Total length on this one is about 27 inches. And again, two of those for a total of six Molex connections. Now, finally, I have the hardwired cables here coming out of the power supply itself. And I haven't tried this yet, so I hope it works out. But uh, this is pretty much going to give you uh, the plugs that you almost always need, that being a 24-pin main motherboard power connector, and then a 4-pin or 8-pin supplemental motherboard power connector, or CPU power connector. And uh, these are actually the uh, supplemental one is a little bit longer. Let me move my tape measure here. Okay, so this one is going to give you about 23, a little over 23 inches in length on the uh, supplemental. And then for your main uh, motherboard power connector, it's about 21 inches uh, from the power supply to the connector. So there you go. Also, these are, of course, sleeved rather than the uh, flat, uh, flat style cables like on the adapters. But uh, here you can see the hardwired connection points. So that's where those connect. Uh, other modular connection points for your... Uh, uh, PCI Express power connectors as well as five here for uh, all of those uh, peripheral power connectors so you could plug in all of them if you did want to. There's a look at it from the top end. There is a little chart here that will tell you what's what. And then uh, here on the side you can see we have our M2 Silent Pro logoing. If you flip it over it's also available on this side so if you have the, uh, the fan facing down you should get a good view of that on either side. Uh, here's a look at the power chart. Since I mentioned, we're going to take another look at it here. Uh, you get 85 amps on the 12 volt rail, total of 696 watts available there. Uh, rest of the power connections are also listed, as well as your 80 plus bronze, bronze certification. Uh, here's a look from the back, so you can see plenty of ventilation here for the fan to exhaust through. Uh, one of the big wide power switches, power connector there for your AC adapter, of course. And then uh, inside, you can also see a little bit of that copper aluminum heat sink, uh, which is helping to cool off the components and help this power supply run cool and efficient. Finally, here on this side, you can see the 130 mil 135 millimeter hydrodynamic bearing fan, as well as a nice silver Cooler Master logo. Okay, a quick correction here for you guys. I realized that actually all of the peripheral cables are not exactly the same. So first off, for Molex, we have uh, uh, one cable with three Molex plugs. The other one has two Molex plugs and a floppy, uh, floppy plug, so that's uh, slightly different. Also, we have two different cable lengths here. So the one with three Molex plugs measures about 20 inches uh, from the plug here to the first Molex plug. And then the one that has two plus the floppy actually measures closer to 30 inches uh, before the first plug there. Also for our serial ATA, uh, same here, all of these have three serial ATA connectors on them. However, you have two shorter cables that have a 20 inch uh, from the plug to the first serial ATA connector. And then you get one longer one that gives you a 30 inch length uh, from the uh, power supply plug to the first serial ATA connector. So sorry about that guys, but uh, there's a quick rundown of your peripheral connection modular cables. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Cooler Master Silent Pro M2 720 watt version. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, you can find more on our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.